Hello there, this is Todd from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be covering 15 blasters from Star Wars that are based on real-life guns, and as always, we're going to be mixing the expanded universe and canon because we believe that there's no reason why most of it can't fit together. So anyway, let's begin. At number 1, we have the A280 blaster rifle, which was most notably used by the Rebel Alliance during the Galactic Civil War era. The A280 design is based on the AR-15 platform, most notably the upper and lower receiver along with the pistol grip, while the rest of the blaster is made up of various different parts, like for example the handguard, which was taken from a shotgun. The A280 blaster saw heavy usage during the Galactic Civil War and helped bring victory to the Rebel Alliance at the Battle of Endor in 4ABY. At number 2 we have the heavily modified version of the A280, known as the A280C. The majority of the blaster was made from an SDG-44, also known as an MP-44, which was made in Germany during World War II. The SDG-44 was a groundbreaking design ahead of its time and is the first assault rifle ever to be mass-produced. The A280C was a modified version of the well-known A280 and was most notably used by rebel commandos because of its firepower and good build quality. As you can see, the majority of the SDG-44 was kept with the addition of the pump-action shotgun handguard just like on the A280, the scope, as well as a new stock. At number 3 is the E-11 blaster which was the primary weapon used by the Galactic Empire. The E-11 blaster is based on a Sterling submachine gun with the addition of a scope as well as some modifications around the front end. The blaster was used by Imperial Stormtroopers to enforce the will of the Empire and maintain order through the galaxy. Its predecessor was the DC-15A Blaster Carbine used by the Clone Troopers during the Clone Wars. Besides shooting normally, it was also capable of stunning opponents just like its predecessor, the DC-15, as was seen in A New Hope when the Stormtroopers stunned Princess Leia aboard the Tent of 4. Now, since I mentioned the Blaster Carbine, why not cover it right now in number 4? So the DC-15A Blaster Carbine is also partially based on the Sterling submachine gun with other parts being from an MG-34. Just like the E-11 Blaster, it has similar upgrades to the front of the gun. As the name suggests, the DC-15A Blaster Carbine was shorter than the standard DC-15A Blaster Rifle, which was also heavily used by the Grand Army of the Republic during the Clone Wars. The DC-15A Blaster Carbine was also known under a different name as the DC-15C. And now at number 5, we have the DC-15A Blaster Rifle mentioned above. It was the primary weapon of the clone troopers during the Clone Wars, and its real-world counterpart is based on the heavily modified MG-34 machine gun which was used by the Germans during World War II. The MG-34 at that time was considered to be one of the best machine guns due to its build quality and reliability, but was later replaced by the cheaper-to-make MG-42 which had a much higher fire rate. The MG-34 however remained in service and was usually used in tanks since it wasn't really convenient to change the barrel of an MG-42 inside of a German Panzer. The back side of the blaster rifle was pretty much kept the same as the original, while the front of the blaster was heavily modified to get that Star Wars feel to it. At number 6 we have the Falcon 38 X-Ray Blaster Rifle, which was used by Clone Trooper Specialist as a precision rifle. Its design was influenced by two guns, the front being an MG-42 machine gun, while the back being an FG-42, which was most notably used by German paratroopers during World War II. The FG-42 was a really interesting concept made in limited numbers specifically for the German paratroopers to provide more firepower than a standard Car 98 and other squad weapons that had to be dropped separately in a jump utilizing a powerful cartridge in a 20 round magazine. It was capable of shooting both semi-automatic from a closed bolt and fully automatic from an open bolt. Other than being used by the clone specialists during the Clone Wars, it was also used by the famous bounty hunter Dangar among his other blaster rifles. Now since we mentioned Dangar, let's do another one of his blasters as number 7, which is going to be the DLT-19 Heavy Blaster Rifle. Other than being used by Dangar, it was also heavily used by the Galactic Empire, mainly as a support weapon during the Galactic Civil War. The blaster is pretty much an MG-34 with almost no changes to the original design, except for a few added details to the barrel and grip. Now, you've surely noticed a lot of modified World War II guns used in Star Wars, so you're probably wondering why. Well, the reason why George Lucas opted for modifying mostly World War II weapons for Star Wars is because it was way cheaper than to design new sci-fi looking guns from scratch, since the budget for the first movie was only 11 million bucks. Since we're into heavy blasters, at number 8 we have the T-21 Heavy Blaster Rifle, also used by the Galactic Empire Stormtroopers as well as Emperor's Royal Guards and Shadow Troopers, as seen in the Battlefront 2 game. 
The inspiration for the T-21 was a Lewis gun, which was most notably used by the British during the World Wars. The T-21 Heavy Blaster also had a long-range version, which was known as the T-21B targeting rifle. Next at number 9, we have the Psycho Rifle, which was most notably used by the Tuscan Raiders. The rifle is based on a traditional Afghan long rifle, also known as the Giselle Rifle, with the addition of a few upgrades to it, such as the scope, as well as a few different barrel and styles. The Cycle Rifle was not a blaster, but rather a slug thrower designed to fire solid projectiles and was usually used for hunting or messing around with pod racers in Tatooine. Now, moving on to some shorter weapons, at number 10 we have the CA-87 Ion Blaster, most notably used by the Jawas to immobilize droids. The CA-87 Shock Blaster in the real world is known as the Lee Enfield Rifle, which was shortened significantly and then fitted with a grenade launcher extension at the front. The Lee Enfield Rifle was made by the British and was used in countless conflicts around the world, including both world wars. At number 11, we have the DH-17 Blaster Pistol, which is yet again another blaster based on the Sterling submachine gun. It was most notably used by the Rebel Alliance during the Galactic Civil War and is the first blaster to be seen on screen in Star Wars. The blaster was capable of single fire as well as full auto, and as for the DH-17's design, well, it was pretty much a shortened Sterling with a Star Wars-like muzzle device as well as a scope on it. Next at number 12, you have the EE-3 Carbine Rifle, used by the famed bounty hunter and Mandalorian, Boba Fett. The EE-3 was made from a Webley & Scott No. 1 MK1 flare gun, which featured the barrel extension, as well as a scope. The EE-3 was a three-round burst fire blaster designed for medium to long-range fights, although when compared to other rifles, it lacked an accuracy in stopping power. At number 13, we have the DL-44 Heavy Blaster Pistol, most notably used by none other than Han Solo. In order to make the DL-44 for Star Wars, they used the Mauser C-96 pistol with a modified barrel extension as well as a side-mounted scope. The DL-44 had incredible stopping power and was excellent for close and mid-range firefights. Other than Han Solo, it was used by Luke Skywalker and Bespin and Dagobah in a slightly different configuration with a smaller scope. Moving on to number 14, we have the A-180 blaster used by Jyn Erso in Rogue One A Star Wars Story. The A-180 was a modular blaster which could be easily switched either into a blaster rifle, sniper rifle, or an ion launcher configuration depending on the user's needs. The blaster was made from a PO-8 Luger pistol fitted with a custom barrel extension. And finally at number 15 we have Princess Leia's blaster, also known as the DDC Defender Sporting Blaster Pistol. The Defender is actually a Soviet-made Margolin, also known as the MCM Pistol. It was a low-powered, short-range blaster pistol meant for self-defense, hunting, as well as duels between nobles. Anyway guys, this is it on the video and we hope you'll enjoyed it and learned something new about the vast galaxy of Star Wars. If you enjoy our content, make sure to check out our second lore channel, The Crossroads Inn, and if you want to watch more videos like this one, the links to the playlist of our other Star Wars stories and videos will be down below. Also, if you want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one. And remember guys, God is awesome, may the force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video. You rebel scum. This party's over.